Literally, there is more than 100,000 tree with collision in this map. But they are not actually tree with collision until you get close to them. Three that are very far are just a billboard texture, which I created with Blender. Also, collision shape will create and destroy an area around player. Well, let me show you a little how this system works, but this is not a complete tutorial. In another video, I will explain well how this system works. Okay, this is a terrain node which is responsible to create the terrain. And there are two other nodes are the child of the M train, which are grass. Basically, grass should be the child of train. And we have two grass, verde is for the short grass on the ground, and tree is for the tree which has a collision too. You can add more grass too. Okay, let me select the tree. As I select that, I active the paint mode and I start to add a tree. As I add the tree, there is a number in the toolbar that is changing. That shows the total number of the tree right now. It is more than uh, 100,000 tree. You can remove tree too. Okay, let me show you other setting for the grass. We have three important things here that we should set. Grass mesh is the mesh of the tree in each level of detail. As you can see, I put a really high resolution uh, tree mesh in LOD0 and I decimate the tree and I put that in LOD1 and for other LOD, I just set them to a billboard texture. A billboard texture is a texture that is always toward the camera. But please note, the billboard mode in the standard material in Godot is not good. I wrote my own shader for this, which maybe later I will make a tutorial about that. Other option is the material override. But as we set the material directly on the mesh, we don't need to set material here. And LOD setting is the most important setting that can affect the look of your grass. Here you provide a resource type with a bunch of information to grass, which tell grass how to handle each level of detail. For example, here for tree, I randomize the rotation along the Y axis so the tree can randomly rotate uh, along the Y direction. But as I don't want my tree rotate along X or Z direction, I set them to the zero. But for other stuff, for example, for rock, you can also randomize along X and Z direction. You can do also the same thing for a scale and position. And you can handle each level of detail differently. You should play a lot with these numbers to get used to that. At first, it is a little bit difficult, but if you get used to that, it will be okay and you can make different things with this grass system. But I should make a better video and explain everything better and I will do that later. Here we have another option too, and that is for the limiting the number of the grass. For example, if I put that to 1000, it will remove all the tree far away and it will keep the number of the tree around this number. Okay, now let me show you how much is my frame rate. Uh, I record this video by OBS and it bring down a lot of my quality again. Anyway, the quality which I see on my screen is much better. Also, I have a few frame rate drop because I am recording from a screen. Also, I am using RX 6900 XT as a graphic card. Uh, well, the frame rate change from 150 up to 300 and 400 frames per second. But consider two things. First, I just want to push the limit of this. You don't have to create this amount of the tree and grass in the same spot. And second, uh, the tree which I am using is not optimized for game. If I design a good tree that optimized for game, it will be much optimized. And that was it for adding collision and tree. I will create more content around this stuff. If you have any suggestion, let me know. And have a good time. Until the next video, bye.